Well, I think it's definitely the best move for our American Hockey League team. I think we are somewhat paying the tribute to the past in more way than one. Hi there, it's Brett Hornby here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And as you probably already know, that the American Hockey League, the Calgary Flames farm team, will be a little closer to home. In fact, they're going to be home home with the Calgary Flames as starting in the 2022-23 AHL American Hockey League season where they've been playing in Stockton, California since 2015. Well, the Stockton Heat, after after having one of their the best season in franchise history while down in Stockton, getting to the conference championship, losing four games to two to the eventual champion for the Calder Cup, the Chicago Wolves. The Stockton Heat will be moving to Calgary, and they're going to be at least called the Calgary Wranglers. So this is not the first time that the Calgary has an ice hockey team that donned the name the Calgary Wranglers. If you go back into my Remember the Calgary series, and I talked about the Calgary Wranglers that used to be in the Western Hockey League that played in the old Stampede Corral from 1977 to 1987. The Calgary Wranglers were the junior hockey team at the time. The second one after the Calgary Centennials, and then we went eight seasons without having a team until the Calgary Hitmen. Well, the Calgary Wranglers will be playing at their home games at the Scotia Big Seldom with the Calgary Flames, and I'm definitely excited to have the Calgary Rangers, the Calgary Flames farm team closer to home because, well, one, it makes it easier to call up and call down players when need be, and also the fact that I'd be closer to see our prospects and give a more affordable option to see the Calgary Flames prospects and future, but it's also the best for the franchise because if you look at attendance figures based it on the hockey database. Also, restrictions didn't help, especially in the state of California, but actually Stockton. They had the lowest average attendance in the American Hockey League with just over 1,700 fans. To put that in perspective, the Calgary Hitman, according to the hockey database website, the Calgary Hitman averages 3,000 more fans per game, and the Calgary Hitman is junior hockey ages 16 to 20. So it definitely gives you an idea of disparity. I'm also not as familiar with the, I've never been to that part of California, but I, hey, here's Stockton. I mean, don't take it the wrong way, but it's based on what I've heard, that Stockton's not necessarily one of the best of cities in California. I mean, look at the map. It's kind of a, a, tri a city that's kind of just as far away from the capital in Sacramento and the Another city is kind of in the middle, central California, in Fresno. But the Stockton seemed to struggle to get fans to the game, especially, you know, the pandemic didn't help. And, and then that season, when they had the border restriction between Canada and the U.S., they actually temporarily moved to Stockton Heat up here to Calgary to play their home games in, South, in Calgary, Still hasn't stopped in Heaton. I think the Flames saw the benefit of that because, I mean, the Vancouver Canucks, they've had a benefit of having their farm team in Abbotsford. And actually, it was the Calgary Flames when they had the Heat in Abbotsford that definitely saw the benefit of that. And I think eventually moved the American Hockey League west. But I definitely liking the uh, move, despite maybe some people in Stockton not too happy about the move. But... I'm definitely going to say you're going to get more than 1,700 fans at a game here in Calgary for an American Hockey League team, especially to see our prospects. But at least when it comes to the Calgary Wranglers, when it comes to their logo, it kind of matches a couple of logos together. I mean, I got my Atlanta Flames hat on, which is the team that the Flames franchise started. But if you look at some images, if you can make it out of the camera, but this is the Calgary Wranglers logo that used to be in the Western. I'll put these in the thumbnail at least. Uh, 
once we know the logo and jersey, or the jersey I should say, for the Calgary Wranglers, then I can react to it. But this is the logo, which kind of looks similar to the uh, flames on the Flame and A. It kind of matches together that W that was used in the Wranglers logo with the uh, Calgary Wranglers in the Western Hockey League and briefly revived back during the uh, Hitman Corral series. But that's the look that the Calgary Wranglers had. I heard there were some rumors that they were looking at, you know, potentially naming this team after a team that uh, came here in the past. I mean, he could also call, could have called the Calgary Cowboys to uh, pay homage to the uh, World Hockey Association team and have a jersey based off of that. And I mean, the Centennials, I mean, that was during the Canada Centennial when we had the Calgary Centennials, but I mean, you could have had the Tigers or we you know, Sort of paid homage to that in the Harris Classic, but I do have those teams talked about in my Remember the Calgary Series. But the Calgary Wranglers, American Hockey League team, will be playing, let's say, all their games at Scotia Big Seldom. Actually, the Calgary Hitmen, they will be playing all but six of their home games also at Scotia Big Seldom. Hopefully, maybe this will be another play for the City and the Flames to finally kiss and make up and agree that we need this new arena. I mean, uh, hopefully that's another play for that as well. But there's six games that the Calgary Hitmen will play at the 7 Chiefs Sportsplex because keep in mind, you're going to have the Flames, which is the primary tenant. Then you know you got the Wranglers for the American Hockey League team. And then you got the Hitmen. And then, we won't know probably at least until less than another month, the Calgary Roughnecks and their home schedule, which is mostly weekend games anyway, but uh, it's going to be a busy building for the Scotia Big Seldom now that we bring on the Calgary Wranglers and the first game, if I want to get the date right, which I might actually try to go to that game because I should be back, if I do actually do indeed go somewhere in October, but the first game for the Calgary Wranglers will be on Sunday, October the 16th, as the Calgary Wranglers will also be taking on the American Hockey League's newest franchise team, the Coachella Valley Fire Ants, I think they're called. The Coachella Valley is the Seattle Kraken farm team, so that will be some history being made, is that the Calgary Wranglers, their new AHL team, will be making history playing in Calgary, and I'm going to say it's definitely going to be best for the Calgary Flames and the team to have their farm team as close to home as possible, and I don't think it's going to kill any uh, other teams in Calgary, so I think we're a hockey mad market, obviously we sell the dome for the Flames, we had the third best WHL tenants in, for the Calgary Hitmen last season. I think there's still enough fans for Calgary Hitman. And then, of course, now with the Wranglers, I think fans are going to be excited to see future Calgary Flames, how they're doing right here. And, of course, you know, we got the Calgary Canucks in the Alberta Junior Hockey League. I think we're a hockey mad city that we can sustain all these teams at the same time here in Calgary. There's enough pockets of fans everywhere to sustain all the teams. But, as I say, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing the Calgary Wranglers making their debut in the American Hockey League in Calgary. And I guess, you know, with the inspir inspiration of kind of mashing together Atlanta Flames logo and the Calgary Wranglers Western Hockey League logo, maybe the jersey will either mash together, you know, have the Atlanta Flames striping, as I've seen some concept online, or use the same concept that the Calgary Wranglers and the Western Hockey League will use, but it'll be the same red and gold theme, but that's all the fun of it right now. So I'm going to say, what do you think about the Stockton Heat moving here to Calgary to be the Calgary Wranglers, and what do you think of the logo so far? But I'm sure I'll talk about it more and share more in the video once more of the branding is known for the Calgary Wranglers and what their jerseys are going to be. We'll see about that. So anyway, I'd like to say, if you want to follow along with this Calgary Sports Fans journey, 
Welcome to Flame Saving at Rough Nexus Stampeders. This is a mostly do talk every sports on my channel, recap games and stories now. But I also do a variety of non sports like purse vlogs, attempt to comedy. I also do share experience same on the road or sport events. I don't know if that all sounds like the interest to watch to follow along with this Calgary Sports fans journey. You know what to do, just uh, make sure you like subscribe. Also have my other social links down in the description below and I do have my second channel, Brad Hornby Shorts, where I exclusively put my short form content on there, so I appreciate you like subscribe both here on my main channel as well as my second channel. So I guess if I do ever get back into my game recaps for the Calgary Flames for next season, I guess they'll be now Calgary Wranglers quick hits. I think I'll still throw that in there as a separate feature. Do a quick hits for that or we'll figure something out. I think I might change up how I'm gonna do game recaps going in the future. Anyway, so I just want to say thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.